Hi guys, welcome back for part two. Uh, in this video, I'll be covering the surface of this board with my Wish grass mat from my earlier video and adding a rim made from these extra bits of wood, same as the ones on the bottom. So here we go. Okay, so we're using the same method as before. So each of the corners is gonna be overlapped like this. Uh, and where the screws went in that way last time, they're gonna go in this way this time in the top frame. Uh, one difference is they're gonna be on their uh, narrow ends rather than the wide ends, uh, which means that this design will have a lot less leeway this time. Because uh, as we said before, uh, a three foot table is 91.4. These spars are 90 centimeters each. Um, but they are 1.8 across. So we're talking about millimeters of difference this time rather than the extra we had to chop off last time. Okay, one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down some strips of this baking paper between under each of the, each of the corners. Now I'm going to get my first clamp and I'm going to get this first spar perfectly in line. So flat against there, flat against there and straight across the back here. So unfortunately my little clamps aren't long enough this time. Uh, I've only got a few of these bigger ones, so it's going to be a little bit trickier to get everything I want clamped. Okay, so on this first corner, I'm going to go in, put a thin bead of glue down that side. And this is what I'm saying, so the, there was a little bit of glue overspill onto the bottom there, uh, which is what the baking paper's for, because I don't want these two parts to be stuck together yet. Okay, so we've got four more of these nice big screws. through there like that, that's fine. So halfway down here and halfway along. Then we're going to switch this cap sink bit. Okay, so this is the third side I'm on to now. And I've done all the same things. We've lined this up with the board underneath. There's already a clamp on this one. I'm making sure this is completely smooth to the edge along there. And we're just gonna clamp up this edge as well. See, not quite happy with that. that tiny fraction further on there. So that's perfectly smooth along there, perfectly smooth along there. So the only bit that sticks out is just the few mils excess, because once again, no measuring required for this one. There. Straight in. Switch to the uh, countersink. Nice and deep. So there's already glue in this joint and I've managed to push the whole thing out of whack using the drill there. So I'm just making sure before the screw goes in that everything is still where it should be. And then and the screw in there. 
So, just one more side left to go. Okay, so we've come up against a little problem here. Uh, this board is not 90 centimeters long. Um, so that'll be due to errors when they were cutting it in B and Q. Uh, they use quite a thick band saw, so that'll be the the difference in the saw. It's only um, two mil out, maybe, uh, but not ideal. Um, so I am actually going to fix this. So I am going to take this little off cut and I'm going to glue this in here like a little jigsaw piece. Um, and then I'm going to clamp all this up. So all the rest of the sides are clamped now. Uh, everything else is perfectly square. Uh, so I'm going to glue this, all these three joints together uh, and leave it. Okay, my light's run out of batteries and uh, we're a bit in the dark here. Uh, but I've lifted the square off now. Uh, and it is square, it is sturdy and ready for the next step. Okay, the dodgy corner has been repaired. Um, it's as sturdy as anything now, so it's all full of glue in there. Uh, and we've got the screw going through like before. I'm gonna pop these nails back out. Uh, but once we've finished, uh, you won't even see where this has been okay, done. Now we've got the frame out of the way, we're gonna look at the grass mat from Wish. Uh, I looked at this a uh, little bit of detail in the previous video. Uh, one thing I did notice, it was a bit sort of spongy. It's quite spongy, this is the back. Uh, and it's got kind of like a felt on the back. What I've discovered is, is that peels away. Can you see that? No, there we go. And this sort of peels away. So I'm gonna peel away all of this felt off the back and just keep going around. Okay, so we've peeled off the bulk of it. Uh, I'm just gonna get any little bits we've missed. Try and get this all to a sort of consistent um, thickness on the back here. So while I've been doing that to the back side of the mat, uh, it has lost a lot of its grass off the front. I don't think it's going to be enough to affect the look of the mat, but I'll definitely be saving this um, either for this project or so I can match some of the terrain we make for it uh, in. Okay, uh, so I am uh, going to set about painting this black. Uh, so I'm just going to do the inside for now. Uh, I'm using a old number seven makeup brush uh, that I saved. Uh, and this is uh, from B and Q, and it costs about a pound. And it is the durable walls and ceilings paint, and the colour is Liberty, but basically black. Uh, and I find these quite good, good little paints. If you don't want to buy a whole can of paint, just something small like this. These are quite. Good. Okay, now we've got the grass mat prepared. Uh, I'm gonna try and stick it down to the board. Uh, so I've got my Wilco PVA. I've just taken the top right off. And I've got my largest scraper out of my pack. And I'm gonna just quite liberally get this over there. Here it comes. It certainly feels like it's sticking. As it's still plenty lush despite all the grass we've lost. But to try and stop any more grass. But to try and stop any more grass from sort of leaving, I've got a mix here. It's about two parts water to one parts PVA. Uh, I've never used this bottle before, so hopefully it works. and soak the whole thing in this. And hopefully this will seal in some of the grass that's already there and maybe even help stick it to the board a little bit. And I'm actually gonna pop the frame back on for now. And with that on there you get a little glimpse of what the finished product might look like. So I'm gonna leave that like this until the morning. Okay, so this is mostly dry now. Uh, still a little bit moist, uh, but I'm happy that it's not going to peel up, and it is, it is stuck down quite sturdily to the wood, so I'm happy with that. 
Hopefully it'll shed a few more, a few bit less bits of grass. Uh, I've lifted the frame off, so it's not the camera. Uh, and now I'm going to trim down the edges a little bit. I'm going to use this uh, standing knife. And because of where I had the frame pressed in, I can see where the edge is, but I can also see where the board goes. I'm going to try and put this line halfway between the board, the edge of the board, and where the, where the wood will sit. Okay, next stage, I'm going to run a bead of glue uh, around the outside of the frame. And then we're going to flip that over. Uh, yep. Oh, I'm covered in glue. And I think for what should be the last time, clamp those corners up. Okay, and we're going to flip the whole thing over. The top spar is 1.8. Uh, thick, so I want this, these screws to be about a centimetre in, and that should get them the top of the without anything, any risk of anything falling out. Okay, I picked up a uh, pack of a sorted sandpaper from Wilco, uh, so this goes from quite rough to uh, to relatively smooth. Middle seems like a good choice. Fold a little bit of that into my sanding block. I'm just going to take off uh, any raised parts from where I've been drilling and countersinking and make sure the screws are all lower than the surface of the bars. Okay, so now you can see the sort of sandwich effect we've got going on down here. Uh, and some of these edges still stick out a little bit. So I am going to uh, saw off and file down these little edges and I'm going to uh, just try and sand down, probably use the roughest grit. So just all these sandwiches will layer up this. Not much gap, but there's just a little bit there. Okay, I'm next to shattered now, but uh, these edges are a lot smoother, a lot more in line. Uh, looks like I could have got these screws a little bit further. I'm gonna try and pop this one out, uh, recount sink it and stick it back in. Okay, next stage, I'm gonna go in with this all-purpose filler and my scraper, and I'm gonna smooth off these edges and get into any little gaps and holes including the little screw holes and things and hopefully smooth it all down a bit cool so all, small, all four sides have got their chrome coat on now and i'm going to leave this to dry uh, from experience it'll probably only take i don't know three or four hours it's not very warm out here so maybe a bit longer uh, and when that's completely dry we'll sand that back Okay, the sides are, I've sanded those down with some sort of finer grit sandpaper and they are silky smooth. Uh, you can't feel where the uh, the joins are now. I'm going to wax some paint on there. Same B&Q uh, wall and ceiling paint I used before in the black. And then the top here as well. So I've finished painting the edges and we've got a finished board. Uh, sturdy enough that we can play some games on it, move it around, but light enough that it is portable uh, and we can just throw it up on the wall when we're not using it. And that's it for this video. As ever, if you like what I did here, or even if you didn't, leave me a comment down below, and maybe even throw a like on there. I aim to make two videos a week, so if you want to see more of this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.